welcome to the beautiful San Francisco Bay Area. In today's video, I'm going to take you through six hikes around San Francisco and Marin County, which is the area just north of San Francisco when you cross the Golden Gate Bridge. All of these hikes are ones that really stand out as some of the best trails here that offer a variety of terrain levels. Coastal forests, redwood groves, even cloud forests you would have never known are smack dab in the middle of San Francisco. Who knew you could feel like you're in an isolated forest in the middle of a bustling tech city? Well, maybe not bustling at the moment, but don't worry because there are so many outdoor activities we can do here in the Bay Area rather than just sitting at home. All of these trails are well maintained and easily mapped out. You can even find the trailheads and the trail markers on Google Map. So if you're in need of some relief with fresh air, exercise, and stunning views, come with me as we explore some of the best hikes in the Bay Area. Welcome to hiking in the age of the coronavirus. So we got our mask, we got water, we got snacks, and we're gonna get started on the Dipsy Trail hike. The Dipsy Trail begins at Old Mill Park in the middle of a residential redwood grove in Mill Valley and ends on a coastal bluff at Stinson Beach. This famous route is a seven and a half mile one-way hike. So going out and back, the double Dipsy can be an exhausting day trip. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this hike has 668 steps. It's quite the leg day. It's mostly in the shade. So far, so good, feeling good. And uh, let's keep going. Let me tell you though, this hike is quite the workout. There is a lot of uphill, but don't stress or rush to get through it. So I've gotta say, this is one of my go-to hikes here in the Bay Area. Even though it's over seven miles one way, I love that this hike gives you variation in terms of the route. It starts in a redwood forest and you get to climb through this unique residential neighborhood that brings you up and over into the inland coastal hills. So you can stop at the top of the stairs back there or you can keep going, which is the trail that runs along the panoramic highway right here. I would say the second part of the trail when you're hiking through the coastal hills, making your way up and over to the ocean is definitely more strenuous than the dip sea stairs. If you do not have someone picking you up over at the Stinson beach side, then you gotta come seven miles back. Bring plenty of water and snacks. And by the time you get to the Pacific Ocean, you'll understand why this hike is a must do. For the first time in seven years, California is no longer in a drought. And this is why we're going on a hike because all of the water is raging everywhere and it looks beautiful. Look at this stunning, beautiful lake. All right, let's go, let's go. Yep. Back to the hike, let's go. Cataract Falls is one of the most popular waterfall trails in Marin County, but this trail is like the Dipsy Trail. It comes with the uphill challenges. There are a few ways to do this hike, but I would recommend starting out at the trailhead at Alpine Lake. The first half is almost all uphill with big steps and steep inclines, but almost all of it is shady and there are plenty of areas along the trail to stop and take a rest. The trees, ferns, and other plants are so lush and it feels like you're walking through an enchanted Lord of the Rings forest. It is a great time to get outside, go on the hikes in Marin. This is a beautiful place to go on hikes. The Cataract Falls hike on Mount Tam. Why are we doing this? Why do we do these hikes? Why do we put ourselves through this? We can drink beer afterwards. It's a short hike, but it's a challenging hike. So start before 9 a.m. or as early as possible if you're looking for solitude, because this trail can get heavily trafficked by late morning. Bring plenty of water and definitely bring bug spray. The Tennessee Valley Trail is located off the Stinson Beach exit in Mill Valley, and it's an easy four mile out and back walk. The trail curves along the valley floor all the way to the ocean. On the weekends, the parking lot here can fill up quickly, so try and come on the early side or later in the afternoon before sunset. This trail is a great place for a lot of things. There's a lot of activity here, mountain biking, running, dog walking, and lots of horseback riding, but the trails are wide enough and there are multiple trails to split off from if you're looking for a more strenuous uphill hike. 
I am in my favorite place in San Francisco right now. I'm sitting at the edge of the cliffs of Land's End where there are a ton of coastal trail hikes. This is one of my favorite spots to come to when I feel like I need to get out of the city because there's a ton of coastal trail hikes around here and it feels removed. It feels kind of remote. It's just very peaceful and quiet. I am in the middle of Mount Sutro forests right now. It's so quiet and peaceful here and you would never imagine that it's quite literally in the heart of San Francisco. Walking through this kind of cloud forest, it feels very remote. This is like reminding me of something that I've seen in Costa Rica, the cloud forest. This is such a great place to come to if you ever feel like you need to get out of the city, but you don't even need to get out of the city. Okay guys, I'm going to take you to a trail that is a great place for locals to come, for out of towners, for anyone visiting the San Francisco Bay Area, and it's right off of the 101 freeway. This is the Golden Gate Overlook hike. It's a six mile round trip hike, but I assure you it's worth it for one of the best views of the Golden Gate Bridge. On this hike, we start at Spencer Avenue parking lot in Sausalito right off of Highway 101. We begin working up the Alta Trail through a series of stairs, and then you'll continue along the ridge to reach the Marin Headlands, where you will see incredible views of the San Francisco Bay. All right, friends, that wraps up the top six hikes for you to check out in San Francisco and Marin County. I would love it if you guys let me know if you ended up going on these hikes. Comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite, because I know you guys are about to be hitting this entire list for the rest of the summer, am I right? And if you guys have any recommendations, I'm always looking for a good hike, so comment that down below as well. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know what to do. And also please consider clicking that subscribe button if you have not yet. Maybe one day I'll catch you out on the trail. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I'm Haley Dasovich and until next time, take on the world. <laughs>